President of the ECOWAS Commission, the ECOWAS Mediator in Mali, the Special Representative of UN Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel region, fellow citizens, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome all of you to Accra once again, and I thank you for responding to the call. With our deliberations centering on the happenings in Guinea and Mali. We're met today for further urgent deliberations on events in those two countries. Uh, presidents, at the second extraordinary summit on the political crises in Guinea and Mali, is a clear manifestation of the solidarity and commitment of the ECOWAS community to the democracy, peace, prosperity, and unity of the region. Excellencies, as we all know, there was a coup d'etat in the Republic of Guinea on 5th September 2021, and President Alpha Conde has since been detained by the military. That same day, we issued a strong statement condemning the coup, demanding his immediate release, and the rest have also condemned the coup. In discussing this issue during our virtual conference of 8 September 2021, we reiterated our condemnation, suspended Guinea forthwith from membership of our organization, and decided to establish immediately to Guinea a high-level ECOWAS mission, composed of the chairperson of the Council of States, the Ghanaian Foreign Minister, the Honorable Shelly Ayoko Butre, the President of the ECOWAS Commission, His Excellency Jean-Claude Brou, the Foreign Minister of Burkina Faso, the Honorable Alpha Bari, and the Foreign Minister of Togo, the Honorable Robert Doucet to assess the situation in that country and report back to us. The delegation went to Guinea on Friday the 10th of September, met the military leaders, and saw President Alpha Conde in his place of detention. They have made a report to us, which will be the basis of our deliberations at this emergency summit on Guinea. We will receive also a report from the mediator of the Malian crisis, His Excellency Goodluck Jonathan, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, on developments in Mali. We are required to take informed decisions on these matters. I count on you, Excellencies, to help proffer durable solutions to the crisis. And I'm confident that as in the past, we will rise to the occasion. I wish us fruitful deliberations, and I thank you for your attention and declare this opening ceremony closed. We thank His Excellency Nana Ado Donkwa Akufoado, President of the Republic of Ghana, Chairperson of the Authority of ECOWAS, Heads of States and Government, for his opening statement. This concludes the opening session of the Extraordinary Summit of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of States and Government on the political situation in the Republics of Guinea and Mali. The Authority of Heads of States and Government will